Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on this channel. Today I would like to introduce you to the AMD APU tuning utility. It is the successor of Ryzen Adjust and Ryzen Controller and in my opinion offers a simpler interface and is much more compatible with later Ryzen APUs. It will also still come with regular updates. Ryzen Adjust and Ryzen Controller are no longer maintained. For today's video we will be using a median system consisting of an AMD Ryzen 7 3700U, 8GB of solder dual channel memory and the integrated AMD Radeon RX Vega 10 graphics just like we did for the Ryzen Adjust and Ryzen Controller video in the past. By the way, today's game is Fortnite, as you can already see in the background. In my opinion, the performance difference will be very noticeable in this game. Um, the gameplay that you're seeing right now was recorded without any previous tweaks or changes. Simply the latest AMD driver is installed. And even for everything on stock settings, Fortnite didn't run badly. Sure, there are noticeable stutters and the 1% FPS lows are not exactly accelerating, but on the whole I have to say that Fortnite runs much better than before, at least on this system in performance mode. So even in stock settings it's okay playable in my opinion. Because if you take a look back to maybe one or two years ago, even at lowest settings, uh, I remember Fortnite running on the Ryzen 7 3700U way worse. Uh, you can have a look at the last video that I did on Fortnite for the program Ryzen controller and I don't know we were averaging like 20-25 FPS at the beginning. The game became better playable um, during the match but you know it still ran way way worse than today. By the way, one thing to notice uh, at stock settings, the CPU clock rate is pretty low. We are running right now at around 1.7 GHz. The Vega 10 wasn't uh, at max usage, so this is now going to change definitely. We are going to download the AMD uh, APU tuning utility. You simply can use Google or click the link in the video description and download the program from the official GitHub page. You have to extract the files and uh, you don't even have to install anything, you know, it's, it's simply a folder and you can open the program directly as uh, administrator, that's important. Um, so first I tried <laughs> using this uh, performance mode and I didn't make any changes to the temperature limit or the max TDP usage but this didn't go as planned. By the way this is important auto uh, apply every couple of seconds because uh, some manufacturers are simply overwriting the values and you will lose, you will lose the advantage. So yeah, I started uh, Fortnite and as you can see I ran directly into a black screen. That's simply because, um, let's talk about it later on. So I, I had to make changes, I had to set a, a temperature limit and the uh, max TDP limit. Temp limit was at 90 degrees now and the TDP limit was at 25 watts and I used the, the balanced preset. So this uh, made the game run. I didn't experience any more crashes. It ran totally fine. And as you can see now in the game, um, FPS and average are like uh, 10 above, <laughs> above previously. And uh, also the CPU clock rate is now at 2.5, 2.6. It's obviously changing a bit all the time. But uh, yeah, way better performance than in, in stock mode. And the reason why I wasn't able to use the performance preset by default and had to make some adjustments simply was the device that I'm using is, um, let's say, not the best build quality regarding the cooling system, but also the power supply uh, it wasn't simply able to deliver enough performance to even uh, run at the performance mode. Um, but this was simply too much for my device. Um, 
I even ran in Windows already on CPU temperatures like 96 degrees Celsius. So that was definitely too much. But if you're using a device with a better build quality, a better cooling system, you can try the performance mode first. You don't have to make any adjustments. I mean, that's really a benefit of this program compared to uh, Ryzen Adjust and Ryzen Controller. You basically had no presets at all. So with the balanced mode on this one, uh, Fortnite ran absolutely fine. I would say it became from okay playable to well playable actually. Of course, you still have got some FPS drops from time to time, but if you look at the 1% lows, we are now at 15 and previously we have been at 5, so that's a huge difference. So overall, in FPS average and 1% lows, it gave me for free a 10 FPS benefit. So if you're able on your device to use the performance mode by default, your performance increase will even be uh, yeah way heavier. You might squeeze out even more FPS than I did because you can still see if you look uh, on the top left that the the GPU the RX Vega 10 often isn't at 100% usage so we are still in some sort of a CPU bottleneck I mean it's not a, a bad one you know if you're averaging 54 FPS it's obviously um, not that much of trouble but um, yeah I'm just saying um, if you're able to use the performance mode there might even be a heavier performance increase Fortnite even run that well <laughs> on this system that I was close to making the victory royale but um, I failed in the end you're going to see that in a couple of seconds however that's the end of this uh, video actually a whole commentary on a video that's also something new for me on this channel um, yeah i hope you like this video if you do feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel i hopefully see you all in the next one stay safe and have a great day goodbye